person you breathe. Guys, today is a sad day. Well, not actually today, but three or four days ago. If you didn't know, the Recursion and a few other weapons took a heavy nerf. Well, I know the Recursion took a very, very bad nerf, and today I'm going to discuss whether the Recursion is still good or not. You know, I did two videos on this in the past, and I stated that it is like my favorite gun in Borderlands 3. From what I can tell, they pretty much ruined it. And it's not one of those spawn. It's not one of those nerfs to where like it's still usable. I think it's one of those nerfs to where it's like whenever you see a recursion anointment on the ground, you just you know ignore it. Like you just drop, you take all the anoints for the recursion out of your bank and just do away with them, or sell them, or do whatever. But in the past, it says we have adjusted how projectiles from damage events spawn. We found spikes, instability, and performance concerns with too many elemental projectiles were spawning during gameplay. This was due to some weapons spawning and many more projectiles than game performance recommended. The recursion carrier bearcat, lead sprinkler, and other will see the effects from this change. We will be monitoring how players will be using these weapons for any possible adjustments in the future. After reading through the patch and actually playing with the recursion, I noticed a huge difference right away and. The one thing that stands out from the patch though is when they said that we um, found spikes, instability, and performance concerns when too many elemental projectiles were spawning during gameplay. Now, if you don't know, the uh, recursion thrives off the projectiles because when they constantly multiply because you you stacking elements on top of elements, they like to ricochet back and forth off of different enemies, and especially you know those badass or those hard or those strong strong enemies, and it gets that big crit damage. And once they constantly keep ricocheting, that's crit damage on top of crit damage. It was sometimes with some ricochets were bouncing for or ricocheting for a million plus damage a piece, and that's how strong the recursion was. But the fact that it actually caused stability issues, which I think was maybe on the PlayStation and Xbox, I read a lot of Reddit posts, a lot of complaints saying why does my game keep crashing for Borderlands? And I think this was probably the problem because I know my Xbox did crash maybe once or twice from actually using recursion, but I actually knew the risk and I liked the gun. I felt like they could have did something differently. Because this game has been in, this gun has been in the game since lunch, and I mean the game has always had stability issues. So they nerfed one of the best guns in the game, and we're not talking about a slight nerf. We're talking about like a heavy nerf, like a super strong heavy nerf. Like the pipe bomb took a heavy heavy nerf. Like it's not even usable. So maybe they, I'm not even gonna sit here and say they're gonna revert it because they probably not. And I always knew the recursion would get a nerf eventually, but nothing like this. If it's been in the game this long, might as well just keep a chat. Looking through the newer gameplay. So after reading through those patch notes and crying, and after they finished installing, I went over to you know straight to Malamon, take down Mayhem 10, just to see if maybe it wasn't that bad. So I went over here and I was farming, and I realized one thing from jump. The projectiles that actually spawn, you can actually see them now. Before, it'd be just so many projectiles flying and ricocheting back and forth. But now, I can actually count them as they're ricocheting, which is a problem. Because that's how you know it took a heavy nerf. Because before, it was chaos with this weapon. It was total chaos. So, after I went ahead and died inside the Melon Takedown, I went over to the Trial of Fervors. Because I wanted to see just how it kind of fared off against other Mayhem 10 enemies. Because I was thinking, maybe inside of the Melon Takedown, those Mayhem 10 enemies had a different Mayhem 10 modifier. And you know you get those Mayhem 10 modifiers, and they stack, and they stack. A lot of enemies become immune to certain damages and it's harder to kill him. So I was like, you know what, let me head over to, head over to the Trial of Fervor. And of course, it's the exact same thing. I mean, it was killing a little bit faster because it was a different type of enemy. Those enemies had more flesh on them, but it was still the same problem. It wasn't killing as near as fast as it used to, especially against the bigger enemies. And it was like, like, wow, what do I use now to mob all these enemies at once, you know? So between now and the next, DLC or mini event, I'm gonna be trying to figure out what gun I can use for, you know, taking down mobs quick because and whatever I find, it ain't gonna be nowhere near the recursion anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanna let you guys know how the recursion was and what they did to it. And it's ridiculous. It was my favorite gun in the game, and Gearbox screwed that up, so shout out to y'all. Another thing, I wanna uh, say thank you to you guys. You know, Borderlands 3 really kinda changed my channel around. I've got a lot more likes, views, and subscribers from just playing this game. I really, really appreciate you guys. So keep smashing that like and sub button, especially if you haven't smashed it already. So yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I believe there is a mini event that's coming because we're all coming up to the year release of Borderlands 3. And it's going to be like a week long of mini events. And I'm going uh, to discuss it on 30th when it actually drops. So catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching.